welcome back to seven engineers youtube channel in this video lecture i am guiding you about big mistakes in slab construction especially in lapping length you can see this is a practical video of big mistakes in slab construction they already did one of the big mistake which is called lapping mistake as i told you in many videos and we have discussed in many practical video that the lapping is not allowed on the top of the beam or at the distance of l by 4 that's why because of lapping length when you provide at the distance of l by 4 so there we have negative bending moment to resist negative bending moment don't provide lapping instead of lapping you are able to provide crank bar or bent up bar or you can say extra bar these are very important to resist negative bending moment if you see at the middle of the beam or at the slab we have positive bending moment it means length divided by 2 that is the that is the mid of the beam or slab if you provide lapping at this place that is also one of the danger place for positive bending moment at the end of the beam or at the support there we have negative bending moment but instead of extra bars or bent up bar they provided lapping length and they provided more than 50% lapping length at this place so this is one of the big mistake so now let me guide you in this section guys you can see this is the plan of the slab the topic is big mistake in slab construction so this is a slab so you can see main bars and distribution bars this is plan of the slab if you see this is a section these two are the supports on the top of this this is the section of slab inside this guys you can see these are steel reinforcement okay so therefore at the distance of l by 4 l means suppose the length is anything suppose keep it up to 20 feet so if that's 20 feet at the distance of l by 4 so this is l by 4 this is 5 feet this is 5 feet at the middle this is 10 feet so total we have 20 feet so you are not allowed to provide lapping at this place especially an rcc slab that's why because here we have negative bending moment when i applied the load on the top of this slab so when the load applied on the on this so it makes a graph same like this is a negative bending moment here we have positive bending moment guys you can see so let me write positive and negative bending moment here we have negative bending moment here also we have negative bending moment here we have positive bending moment to resist negative bending moment we are providing extra steel rods same guys you can see this section here we have the spacing uh, six inches c slash c center to center and the dia is 12 millimeter as i am uh, showing you in this practical video so guys this is one of the big mistake don't provide and also uh, at, at some places they provide at this place so after l by 4 you are allowed to provide okay so try to place the 40 feet or 60 feet length that's why because in 40 grade steel rod we have 40 length or 12 meter at 60 uh, 60 grade steel rod we have 60 feet okay so therefore placed over all steel rods and try don't provide lapping at the middle don't provide lapping at the distance of l by 4 l by 4 as i discussed here l the total length divided by 4 or the total length divided by 3 it is depend on longer span and shorter span so guys this is one of the important video to guide you where is the best place to provide lapping so the lapping you can provide after l by 4 but not at the distance of l by 4 don't provide at the junction that's why because if you are providing so the lapping length should not be less than 60 d where d is die of steel rod but instead of this they are just providing about three to six inches so this is one of the danger place if you are providing lapping so there we have more chances of cracks to resist cracks don't provide lapping but provide crank bar or extra steel rods thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye